Okay, so one of the wonderful things about living here where I, I grew up in Alabama is there's a lot, lot, lot of fishing tournaments. So I always wanted, or always said I was going to do whenever I was like 16, 17, 18, 19, running around fishing all these tournaments. I wanted to, you know, kind of vlog them and show, back then we didn't call it vlogging, I wanted to film it and show what we did. I used to fish tournaments on Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Saturday and Sunday, every single week. Like literally every single week. So fish a lot of tournaments and I never showed that aspect of fishing and I don't think anybody really has. There is a, I ain't gonna call it underground, but in all these local cliques or whatever you wanna call them, all these small lakes or big lakes around Alabama or pretty much anywhere, there's Tuesday night tournaments, Wednesday night tournaments, you know, Saturday morning tournaments on all these lakes. And there might be 10 boats, 20 boats, some of them 30. When I started on, man, they used to be like 40 boats in some of these Tuesday night tournaments. So today is Tuesday. It's Tuesday night tournament is tonight on my local lake. I have fished so many of these tournaments. I have fished, I mean, they're three hours long, which is not conducive to me specifically because I'm an adjustment fisherman. I never go out there and what I plan on doing works. It very seldom. So three hours is not enough time for me to adjust, so I've not done super well in these tournaments. I've won, you know, a bunch of them, but I have fished a whole bunch of them and not won that many, so we're going to go out there today, try to rig some stuff up, get ready to go. going to rig up some spinning rods because it is finesse time of the year's postponed funk, so let's rig some stuff up, get ready to roll this evening. Oh, I got him. Dad gum it. I didn't mean to catch him. I should have caught him. You want to grab him? That is a good one. That is a big one. I did not mean to actually catch him. Four and a quarter. Dang, man. There's two right here behind it, five right here behind it. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. Only one of them was big enough that we won't. I just gotta believe it is. I mean, it's a frog water, it ain't that hard to catch. Is it gonna be there an hour and a half is the question. There's also like consistent areas, which is what I consider this. A little bit bigger than I thought he was. He ain't one week away though. In this tournament, actually, you can. It might. It, it could take 11 pounds to win this one, or 10. Just most likely, still gonna take 13. Spotted dog right there. I catch him on that swim bait. Spots are spawning in full effect right now.
Man, I don't want to go waste nothing. That's a decent one. Should I catch him? He's like a 14 incher. Just catch him. Oh, I was on Instagram. Okay, we can blame this one on Hunter. She said go ahead and catch him. He's little though, we don't need none like him. We need all pound three quarters or better. If I don't see one come out of here, I don't know what's wrong. There he is. He ain't good though. Pound and a half. -er. Got a spot. Shook off a spot. We're about five minutes for a blast off. Looks like we got around 15 boats or something like that. So me and Hunter found us a couple big ones on bed. Some good sized fry garters. We're gonna try to start on a fry garter and then catch some bed fish. So what do you think? We're gonna try. If uh, the ones we had just found cooperate, we will win, but we just gotta see how it goes. All right, tournament is underway. Me and Hunter elected to start on a fry garter that we found before the tournament. Hopefully we can catch them in five or 10 minutes and it will be a good decision. We just gotta wait and see. All right, let's go. All right, I got him now. I'm gonna swing him. Yeah, just do what? That's the dude. Drop my rod. Yeah, the female's big. But she ain't coming back. Got to buy the trick worm and the wacky rig. What time is it? What do you think? Should we wait on her or leave? I think we gotta leave. If you throw that sucker right over there towards that little riprap point, you might get a bite. Just through. Now there's a better one over there. There's a better one right behind it. You see it? Reel, reel yours up and drop it right beside mine. He got it. Oh no. He had it. He keeps coming back. The better one got yours. This is, this is what I shook off earlier. Remember I said I shook off this pot? I mean, ate it the way you want to eat it. Ooh.
pretty good looks out. I drove across this Princess Bridge to look at this and see. And didn't do it anyways. Dude, I've been stuck on it so many times in my life. And I, I'll get stuck on it again next time I come in here. I will never, ever learn about that sandbar. So Hunter's finishing editing that video. That's me in the background you just heard. So basically that tournament, I think uh, 12 pounds won it. A 3.8 was big fish. So obviously that one I caught before the tournament was four and a quarter, four and a half pounder. I should not have caught that fish, but that's not an area of the lake I would have normally went to. I just kind of went over there and messed around looking for bed fish. A little close to the main lake. Stumbled upon that one and he, he bit first cast. I didn't, I mean, I would have never went to that area. So it's not like I, that fish actually hurt me in the tournament. What did hurt me in the tournament was I found a bunch of bed fish that I decided to waste an hour of my time on in a three hour tournament. And if I would have just went to where I initially wanted to go, I probably would have, you know, caught enough weight to probably win the tournament because I caught a few good ones where I initially wanted to go. I just didn't go there because I wanted to waste time on these bed fish. But anyways, don't want y'all ragging me in the comments talking about I caught my fish for the tournament. I wouldn't have went and fished for those fish anyways. But anyways, if you like the video, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. We are trying to fish as many tournaments as possible because I love to fish tournaments and that's what I like doing. So we're going to keep posting these videos all the time. We've been fishing a ton of tournaments, got a lot of them coming. So hit that subscribe button. I will see y'all in the next video.